In this video, I just want to give you a quick overview of the crossword generation feature of the puzzle generator. Now, the first thing you need to do, which you'll know if you have watched the intro to the export tool video, is you need to run the export tool here. I already have it open down here. And then what we want to do here is go along to our crossword tab here. Now here we have three columns. In our first column, you want to put your crossword questions. Our second column, the answers. And our third column, our titles. So let's just go into that a little bit more detail, particularly the answer column and the title column. So as the answers, you need to ensure that any answers don't have a space in between them. Because if you have a space in between them, that space will appear in the puzzle. So just go through and make sure all of the words or locations or phrases that you're using don't have any spaces in between them. And next, with our titles, in advance, you need to know how many uh, questions, how many uh, words you want to have per, per puzzle. So for example here, I have two titles and 20 questions and words. That means when I go into the uh, crossword generator, I'm going to choose 10 words per puzzle. Again, so if you had, if you wanted 20 words per puzzle, then you'd have uh, two titles and 40 uh, different questions and words. Or for example, if you wanted uh, 10 words per puzzle and five puzzles, you'd have 50 words and five titles. So once you have all your data here, what you do is go along to the main tab here and click Submit to Export. Click OK. And then what we do, we're gonna go into PowerPoint now the first thing you'll need to do is have a blank, completely blank slide. So if you do have any text boxes or any placeholders here, you'll need to click on them and delete them. And then what we want to do is make sure we're on the puzzle generator tab here. And then we're going to choose our trim size. I'm going to stick with 8.5 by 11. Now once we've done that, we're ready to create our crosswords. So if we go to puzzles up here, and then crossword here. Now our first um, screen is our game explanation or how to. This is a quick um, brief how to play uh, the puzzle. Now what you can do if you want, you can click in here, you can edit or delete the text. And if you want to include the how to, tick this box here, add game explanation. If you don't, leave it blank and then click continue. Now, our first option here is our color picker tool. What this is going to do is allow us to choose the color of our word searches. Now, typically you'd want this in black um, or gray, particularly if you're publishing for KDP. Um, I'm going to stick with black for this example. And then our next option here is we can choose a font. You'll have here the um, selection of fonts that comes with Office and any additional ones that you've added in the export tool. You can of course make these bold or italic. You can choose our title font size, our other font size. So our other font size is for our, um, our actual puzzles, our actual uh, grids, the puzzles, the words in the grids themselves. Now, this is a estimated size. What I mean by that is that it will do its best to um, honor the size you choose, but if it can't fit the puzzle or the word or the phrase in, what it might do is decrease that size, uh, size slightly. Now, our options here are, our next options are our row number and our column number. Now, what you typically want to do, if you have um, a rectangle shape slide, is to have more rows than columns, so it takes up more of the slide. And basically, the larger, um, 
larger the amount of rows and the larger the amount of columns, the smaller the words will be in the puzzle, in the crossword, but that also allows there to be uh, more space um, for words. So if you do have a crossword with a lot of words in, you'll probably want to create this as big as you possibly can to try and fit them all in. Now our next option here is our words number. See so if you remember earlier I said you need to know in advance how many words you want per crossword. So to go up in fives all the way from 10 up to 50. I, if you remember, have done 10 words per puzzle so I'm going to leave that on 10. Our next option here is tries by grid. So basically this is how many attempts do you want the crossword generator to make um, to try and fit your words in before telling you that it can't fit it in? Um, I would start on the lower setting on this because it's the quickest, but if you find that you are struggling to fit words in, you may need to increase this. Our next option is how do you want to, uh, the grids to display? So if I'm going to show you the different options. So our first option is show all. So if I just generate our maze of show all. So what show all does here is it has the black space all around the puzzle and our little uh, word grids like this. And our solutions at the end. Now if I go back, back to puzzles and crossword, and then I'm going to show you the only field option. So this creates crosswords like this, no black space, just simply the empty boxes for the words. And our solutions again at the end. Go back into puzzles and crosswords. Now the remaining options we have are an option to force all of the words in the grid to be lowercase. and then the ability to add left and right margins. Now, if you're creating for KDP, obviously to ha having left and right margins is pretty essential. Here you can choose between zero and one inch. I typically go for uh, 0.75. So now I've got that set, let's create our crossword. Now, so now we have our puzzles, what you do have is a few more advanced formatting options. So for example, you can move uh, various shapes. So for example, you can move the crosswords down. So if I put, say for example, one inch in here and go down, it moves the crosswords down and what you'll notice that will apply to crosswords, all the crosswords, including the solutions. And another option you have is to change the font size or the formatting of the font and the text in a shape. To do that, simply select the um, shape you want to edit, P 
click change individual fonts at the top and here you can change the color the font the size the styling and alignment so i'm going to make that bigger up for 26 and then that then applies to all my titles so i hope this quick introduction to the crossword feature of the puzzle generator helps you thanks for watching